Now, the evening wouldn't be complete without hearing from representatives of these inspiring pioneers. And to probably introduce our first pioneer representative, I need you to welcome a gentleman who is doing his own part to ensure that all of us understand it's all about doing what you can do where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, to make his remarks as a lead pioneer, Xiaohui Lian. Thank you, Dr. Uh, forgive my jet lag, but this is a very good breakfast for me. Uh, uh, dear SDG friends, uh, dear, dear peer uh, SDG pioneers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, first, let me congratulate all the SDG pioneers again. It's my great honor to be one of you. Uh, I appreciate all your good work and the differences you have made to your business, to your society, and also the world. Also, allow me to thank the United Nations Global Compact for organizing this first ever SDG Pioneers cam cam campaign. And for offering us these two days of uh, uh, rich uh, South exchange and uh, experience sharing. It's a good practice for best practices. I feel very much honored to be here, I, and I would like to take this opportunity to call on all businesses to commit to the changes that they should and must make. This brings me to the first point I would like to make on change. Although change is the eternal law of our universe, many changes will never happen without a clear vision and firm belief. Ten years ago, only one Chinese business association, that was CNTEC, China National Textile and Apparel Council, initiated a, a social responsibility code for uh, its members. And today, over 20 Chinese sectors have a standing CSR or sustainability program. Ten years ago, only one company in China published its CSR report, while in 2015, we saw over 2,500 reports from all sectors uh, and all types of companies in China. This happened because pioneering business leaders learned to translate the pressure and expectation from the society of value chain into business practices that deliver social good as well as new business opportunities. They might not know 10 years ago that one of the exter externality effects of their efforts is that after 10 years, CSR and the sustainability develop uh, and the sustainable development are high on the political agenda of the Chinese government. This is not to say that they wanted to change the world um, in the first place. What they did was just to change something about themselves. The second point I would like to make on change is that big challenges are often opportunities for big changes, changes for better. The real issue is whether we have the courage and the determination to make that change happen. Again, let me take China for example. China has become the world's number one CO2 emission economy, unfortunately. But fortunately, in the past few years, China has made itself world's largest investor in clean energy. And by 2020, China will become the world's largest market for electric automob automobiles. Another example, China is now one of the largest outbound investors in the world. And one of the biggest challenges for over 18,000 Chinese investing companies abroad is how to deal with the rights and expectations of the local people. Because of this, I saw an, interest, an, an, in, uh, sorry, I saw an in increasing interest and, no, and the need in knowledge and the expertise in responsible business conduct. Just in the first half of 2016, 
over 500 MBA students, executives of state-owned and private companies, attended my trainings or lectures on the United Nations principle, guiding principles on business and human rights. And in the past 10 years of my lecture at Peking, at the Peking University, only 300 students. As we all know, SDGs are put forward to tackle the greatest challenges of our age. It's never easy for 193 states to agree on a set of ambitious universal goals. So I believe the aim of SDG is meant to achieve big, positive, and fundamental changes. But we also know changes start to happen on the ground and in small places. The one key message we keep hearing in these past two days is the realization of SDGs relies very much on how businesses will interpret and integrate SDGs into their street, uh, business strategy, business models, and business practices. In closing, I would like to quote former U UN Secretary General Kofi Annan by saying, quote, if something has not been done before, it does, it does not mean it cannot be done. It only means you could be the first to do it, end of quote. I hope everyone here and every business in the world will become pioneers in bringing the vision of SDGs to fruition. I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you.